to use Elementor's fixed post grid layouts anymore. Now your postcards can look exactly how you want with your own layout and style. And even if you're running a store, you don't have to settle for WooCommerce rigid product blocks. Now every product card is yours to design. And even inside the same grid, not every item has to look the same. Want one specific project to stand out in the card? You can do that too without breaking the layout. All these different needs and design and you can handle them all with just one widget. The Expro add-on loop builder. And today we'll build this clean latest news postcard layout step by step so you can see exactly how it works. Okay, first install both the free and the pro version of Expro Elementor add-on. Next, make sure all your posts are already created at the back end and organized into the categories. Once that's done, open your WordPress dashboard, head over to Expo add-on, go to the save templates and click on add new template. Give it a name, hit save and publish, and then click edit with Elementor. And now we're inside the Elementor with a black canvas. And from here, we can design the layout for whatever we need. The postcards, product cards, portfolio card, and you name it. Since I'm creating a postcard layout, let me walk you through how I built mine. First, I want my post image. For that, I will drag in the featured image widget from the Expro add-on, and this will automatically fetch the featured image assigned to each post. And below that, I will drop in the post title widget. As you can guess, this pulls in the titles of the post. Super handy. Next, we need the post content widget. This brings in the actual content or excerpt of the post. And finally, I will add a button widget underneath so people can click and read the full post. Now, a quick note. These widgets, the post title, post content, featured image, are not like the regular text or image widgets. They are dynamic, which means they automatically pull the data from your post. That's why they're called the post widgets. The best part is you don't have to copy paste content again and again and all your cards stay consistent automatically. Okay, now here just above the title and below the post image, I want to show some extra details about the post. And for that, I'm dropping in the Expo add-on post meta widget. This is just the extra info about your post like the author, the date, the publish time and you know, etc. Okay, so yeah. This is a pretty basic layout I made just to keep things simple, but of course, you can add a lot more elements and make it as creative as you want. Now, here's where it gets powerful. We can style and customize each of these elements individually. That's something you don't get it if you just use a pre-made post grid widget. All right, I'm gonna start with the first element, the image. I will set it to full resolution and add a nice hover effect so it feels more interactive. And next for the title, I will tweak the typography, you know, the size and color to make it really stand out. Then the content, I will just keep it as it is for now. And now for the button, right now I'm just updating the text adding a proper link and adjusting the typography. I will also give it a nice color for normal and hover state and of course adjusting the margins so everything looks balanced. Then for the matter of this post, I only want the date and the comments count to show. So I will just keep those and turn off the rest. And that's our clean, flexible postcard layout ready to be styled further. Okay, one last touch, I will add a soap background color to the main container, nothing fancy, just a light shade so all these elements sit nicely on it. And of course, a subtle border to give it a neat finish. And that's it. Now let's bring this design out onto a real page. Open the page in Elementor where you want your post to show. Then drop in the loop builder widget from the extra add-on into a container. And here it is. Now just go to the select template, and choose the card layout you just built. And the magic, all your posts will instantly use that card design you made. You build it once and it applies to all the posts in one click. Super useful if you got a lot of posts or products to display. Anyways, now let's fine tune this postcard a bit. Okay, so see this column option? This decide how many posts show in a row. So if you set it to two, you will get two posts in one row. I'm setting mine to three, it just looks more balanced. 
And then if you scroll down, you will see four main options, individual, query, filter, and lot more. Let's go through these one by one. Okay, first, individual. This one's actually one of the strongest features of the loop builder. Here's what it does. Normally, all posts look the same right now, right? Because they are using the same template. But with individual option, you can pick one specific post and make it look different. For example, let's say you want this special post to stand out. Maybe you want a different color background or even a whole different design for just that post. All you do is turn on the individual option and then enter the post ID or, you know, the post number of the post you want to customize. I want for the post 2, so adding a number 2. Now choose the template you want. I've got one called Editor's Pick. This is something I already created in the backend using the same method I just showed you for the templates making. See, now this post has its own special look with a highlighted background, a top pick label, and you know, the stuff like that, while everything else stays the same. Super handy if you want to highlight a featured post, a sale product, or just break the monotony in your grid. Okay, then comes the query option. Now, this is where things get interesting because this gives you control over which posts show up in your loop. Let me run through these real quick, no need to overcomplicate. So, first you got the source. This is where you pick what type of content you are showing. The posts, pages, product, portfolio, whatever you need. For now, we are talking about the post. Then author, you can choose posts from a specific author and all these other options to filter your post by. Now, if there are a post you don't want to show, like let's say I don't want this specific post. So just type the name of that post, select it and see, it's excluded from our postcard. But of course, I want my post to be in the car, so I'm deleting it. And then we got a few options for how the posts are arranged. Per page, how many posts you want to show on one page. I want all five posts of mine to show up on the page, so there it is. And for the offset, this lets you skip post. For example, I want this post to be skipped. And if I set it to 1, it will skip the first post and start showing from the second one. I hope you get it right. Okay, now you can decide the order for your post by the date, ID, title, and so on. Then I will choose the ascending order so the post that were published first will show up first and the near ones will follow. Post with image. Turn this on if you only want posts that have a featured image. All of my posts are already have featured images. Okay, so now of course we got the filters. First thing, you can choose if you want filters at all. Just flip this toggle off and the filters are gone. But if you keep it on, then you get all this extra option to control how your filter work. Just select the category you want to filter from. Or you can even exclude certain categories if you don't want them showing up. You can also turn off this all option in the filter. So it only show the specific category you want. And my favorite part, this filter transition. It adds that nice little animation when you switch between the filters. See, just pick the one you like. I like this one. And then you got this show drop down on option. Basically, you can design if you want your filters to show as a drop down, like only on mobiles, tablets, or everywhere. All right, now we got the load more option. At the moment, it is set to none, so obviously nothing show up under the post. But let's say you got tons of posts and you don't want to show them all on the page at once. So you can pick one of these loads option. I'm gonna go with the click and say this. It instantly add a nice button under the post so visitors can load more only when they want. Okay, now see this feature. If I set to 3, it will only show 3 posts at first and the rest will show up once we click the load more button. Totally up to you how many you want to display here. Then I'm just gonna change the button text to say view more. Okay, now that's almost everything from the content tab. Now let's jump quickly into the style tab. Here you will get options to style each of these features separately. So you can fine tune the look of every part just the way you want. First, you can adjust the spacing between the post. Just drag the slider and see, you can see the gap, right? I like my post gap to stay pretty tight. So I'm setting it to something 10. 
All right now, let's quickly style these filters so they match with our theme. First, I'll change the typography to my preference, adjusting the size, the weight. Then of course, I will add our theme color to keep things consistent. Now, I already like the default text in the background. So I'm just gonna tweak the hover and the active states. On hover, I will make the text white and the background red. See that, much better. And I will keep the same style for the active state too. So when you actually click a filter, it looks clean and highlighted. Perfect. Now to polish it up even more, I will add a subtle border. Nothing crazy, just a thin one, but these little touches make a great difference. I also feel the filters are a bit crammed together, so let's give them some paddings. See that? Way more breathable and neat now. And honestly, that's what I love about the Expro Wizards. You get all these small styling controls that let you fine tune your design exactly the way you want. Okay, now of course we got to style our Lord More button. <laughs> Can't forget that one, right? Same process here. Pretty much the same option, adjust the typography, play with this size and weight, and then add some color to make sure it blends with your theme. Then I would also add a slight border. Tiny details like that really make the button pop. All right now, we are almost done. Okay, so I don't actually want this one post of mine to stand out or look different. I only wanted to show you how the individual feature works and highlight the kind of power and the flexibility you get with it. Basically, it is to make you aware of the possibility like how you can completely change the look of one post if you want. So I'm just going to switch back, turn this feature off, and with just a click, this post instantly takes on the same layout as all the other posts in the grid. And that's it. Publish, preview, and you're good to go. I've only built a very simple layout here just to keep things easy for you to follow along. But of course, you can use as many elements as you like and create really beautiful, unique layouts for your post without being stuck to the fixed layout of a regular postgrid widget. By the way, while I have shown you how to make postcard in this video, you can use the exact same method to create the product card or the portfolio cards too. Just make sure you have the WooCommerce plugins for the product or a portfolio or a CPT plugin for the portfolio, where you will create your product or the projects on the WordPress dashboard. And secondly, while using the loop builder, make sure in the query section, you select the content type as product or portfolio depending on what you want to display. So it pulls in the right entries into your card layout automatically. So go ahead, try the expert add-on loop builder widget and see for yourself how much creative freedom you got with your grid layouts.